Well, hey everybody, Danielle here. How's it going? Um, when I'm filming this video, it is Saturday, February 10th. Um, but I'm actually going to put it out tomorrow, Sunday. So we're, we're going to, what well, it'll be past in the past. <laughs> but um, today, as I'm filming this, it is um, raining pretty good. I'm sitting out on my patio. And you can hear the rain. Um, and um, here, you know, see it probably coming down behind me. I'm just sitting out under the, under my patio in the back. I um, wanted to touch base with everybody. Thank y'all for watching my last video this past Wednesday. Um, that means a lot to me. I promise Nanny and Papa will be back. Um, it'll probably be a few weeks, but we will be back to recording videos as soon as Papa's up to it. Um, an update on Papa. He is, uh, you know, starting to feel better. He's on antibiotics at home. Um, he is starting to feel better, um, but still has a, a little ways to go. Um, he's probably still got um, a, another two weeks, maybe, on the antibiotics. Um, you know, just taking it visit by visit with the with the doctor and everything. But um, he he is feeling a little bit better. Still has some pain and everything. Um, still has a, a good amount of infection in that knee. But he is um, trying his best to uh, get to feeling better and bounce back. He says to tell everybody hello. Um, he and Danny both appreciate all the thoughts and prayers and again he says tell everybody hello and thank you for the thoughts and prayers and um we're hoping to have him back on these videos very soon i know you guys want him back just as much as i do but i do appreciate you guys being warm and welcoming to me um to keep the channel going while they are out um just wanted to uh touch base with everybody my last video on wednesday i did mention that dakota had a fight on march 2nd coming up um, after I posted that video a couple of hours later, um, I found out that it did move. So, um, they, the company that's putting on the, um, the fights, uh, Summit Fighting in Tupelo, Mississippi, the SFC, um, they did, um, they said due to unforeseen circumstances, they were moving the fight and pushing it back to March 30th. So, um, I had a lot of people correct me and I thought, what in the world are they talking? But that, that is the case. It was the exact same day and I found out. I didn't know. Um, so I do want to correct that. He does have a fight going on March the 30th. Uh, Dakota, the Dream Smith. He is, um, going to fight, uh, at the flyweight, um, uh, weight class and he is, um, actually listed as the main event. So get with Dakota or Joey on, um, ticket sales information, t-shirts, uh, sponsorship opportunities. He can always use that. We, we always appreciate all the love and support for our family. Um, again, uh, with Lainey, Lainey's raising money for her middle school band. She is so excited. She's so close to reaching her, um, her set goal. Um, she had set her goal at $600 and she is at $460. Um, so I can, um, put the link in if anyone wants to share it or anyone wants to help, um, to donate to support these talented group of kids. Uh, please do. The, the middle school band is, is a great start. She just started, just picked up her instrument. Um, if you caught me the last one, she plays mellophone. She just picked up her instrument in August. Um, loves it, loves to play, loves her band director and her class classes, teachers, and, um, and so we're really supportive of that. Um, the, these kids are the next generation of the award-winning Hernando High School uh, marching band, and we're really proud of them. So, um, again, if you want to share the link, send any type of encouragement, support. If you want to make a donation, just hit me up and let me know. Um, I had a few questions uh, regarding my last video. Was I serious about the questions that we get? Yes, I was dead serious. Those are some questions that we get um, or that I have gotten directly. You know, uh, other questions are, you know, just about our family. Where do we live? Um, do we do we live in Memphis? Do we, we live in Tupelo? Um, Daddy and Teresa, and you'll check them out on their channel, Memphis Mafia Kid, every Sunday and Wednesday. Um, and um, they have shorts like we do throughout the week. Um, Daddy and Teresa do live um, in a little town right outside of Tupelo, Mississippi. Um, so they do live there. Teresa is from there. And um, a few years back, probably five, six years ago, um, they moved down there permanently. They were living here in North Mississippi where we are. Um, and then they did um, move there um, permanently. They do come up and visit Nanny and Papa 
um, every few weeks um, to stay with them and visit and see everybody. Um, but they do live there. Um, Nolan, Laney, and I live in North Mississippi, about 15 minutes south of Memphis. Um, 15, 20 minutes south of Memphis in a town called Hernando. You may be familiar with it from one of our early videos that we did of the Vaughn Theater where Nanny saw Love Me Tender um, with Friends. That was her first Elvis movie. And uh, Papa and his band, uh, Billy and his rockers, they performed there at the Vaughn Theater. Now it is um, split up into a day spa. And um, on the other side is a really cool gift shop called Bon Bon Gifts here in Hernando. Um, I've been there to talk to the owners to see if they had any, any um, artifacts and memorabilia from when it was the Vaughn Theater. And um, they did not, once they, they, they moved in, they, there was nothing there for that. But really cool gift shop if you're ever visiting Hernando. It's right over by the square. Go by and visit them. Um, they have a lot of neat stuff from um, jewelry, clothes, uh, fudge, um, snacks, just a whole lot of goodies. Um, little uh, like pottery and decorative stuff. So go check them out if you're here in town. Um, and then uh, Nanny and Papa and Joey and Ruth Ann and Dakota and Savannah and the, all the kids there, um, they live about 40 minutes from us, a little further south into Mississippi, um, way out in the country um, on uh, about 65 acres or so. Um, they live there. So they're about 40 minutes from us. So that's why when I say when I go down to film or when I take picture orders and I have them pushed back, that's the reason because there are days that I cannot um, go straight and see them or, or get out um, to see them to get a picture done or autographed or a quick video done or updates. So that's why I do, I, I do all of my recordings sometimes like a month or six weeks in advance. Um, because I do work, uh, my husband works, Lainey is in school, and they're about 40 minutes away. I work 30 minutes um, outside of where I, where I live. I work in a town called Olive Branch, Mississippi. If you're, if you're taking Highway 78 from Tupelo to Memphis, you, you'll bypass Olive Branch, and I work out close to 78 Highway. So, um, there is a, um, a little bit of a, I don't want to say a time difference, but a little bit of space between us. Um, so again, that's why if you order pictures and I say you order them now and they're going to ship, you know, uh, four weeks from now, that, that gives me time to get with them. And I try to get pictures signed, videos made, shorts made, uh, questions answered and all of that. I try to do all of that at one time. Um, so, uh, people ask what I do for a living, of course, outside of the videos. Videos is just on the side. Um, it that can turn into a full-time job it, it, it is a lot to it so i do it in my free time um i work on everything efm during my lunch breaks and at night when i'm at home on the weekends and such like that um but in real life i work for an elevator company um i'm a parts coordinator for an elevator company that's been here for a long time um i have been with the company over 13 years now and um, I research, um, work in the spare parts division, and I research uh, job files for replacement elevator parts and um, look up um, aftermarket spare parts, um, customer service, all of that. So that's what I do in my, uh, my real life. Nolan uh, works in shipping at a um, roofing and uh, building company um they have a, a plant and a shipping and he is a um equipment operator there um for years that is his current job now for over 15 years nolan uh, worked for a propane company and he did everything from delivering propane to residences to companies to grill bottles to cylinder bottles for forklifts he did service and installation for a while um, it was something um, that he had made a decision he had done for a very long time and um, was ready to make a change, be indoors, not out in the weather, and that was better for him. Um, a lot of you know, a lot of you don't. Nolan suffers from um, a very advanced stage 
osteoarthritis that we found about when Nolan was in his 40s. Uh, Nolan and I are 12 years apart, so Nolan's 52, I'm 40. Um, we found out when Nolan was in his mid-40s that he has a very rare and advanced stage um, osteoarthritis and his hips uh, had completely deteriorated. So before Nolan was 47 years old, he had had both hips fully replaced. Um, and so it was the, the climbing and the trucks and everything and, and a lot of stress there with work. It, he changed to something that would be better for him um, and, and for us. So that is what he does. Lainey, of course, is a uh, full-time student at her middle school and um, is involved in her middle school band. So um, that that's about that's some of the questions that I've had personally. Um, a lot of people know me more. And they'll say, who are you? Um, those of you that do not know, I'm Billy and Joe's oldest grandchild, Danielle. My daddy is Danny, their oldest son. Um, you know Danny, my dad, from... Uh, Memphis Mafia Kid and um, the, the YouTube channel that he and Teresa do. Um, but a lot of people will say, you know, remind me who you are again, even though I've been on the YouTube channel and doing EFM now for, uh, it'll be three years in September that we started EFM. Um, but a lot of people, you know, remind me, so I, that, that's me, I'm Danielle. Um, I wasn't on the channel physically for a long time. I just did the filming and editing. Now I am on there. Um, you guys, I guess you're stuck with me, sorry. Um, I, now I'm on there. Um, most of the videos I am on there from time to time. I'm not, um, prepared to be on there with, I don't have my makeup or I'm not dressed or anything and I'm not gonna scare anybody so I might sit back but here lately probably the past year I've been on just about every video um, but I still do all of the filming and editing um, a lot of people say oh you're Lainey's mom so that's me I'm I'm, uh, I'm Lainey's mom I guess uh, Lainey's uh, become a, a little celebrity I guess Lainey was uh, with Daddy and Teresa last summer and appeared on a lot of their videos and y'all know her from some of the horror videos that um, she's done, that's Lainey's passion, are horror movies. Uh, she writes, uh, she's a wonderful author. She writes horror stories, um, and makes videos. She's a wonderful animator. She makes animated characters. So those are her passions. Um, right now her plan is to attend a college and to do some form of commercial and graphic design, um, and animation. That's, uh, something that she's very, very passionate about and we fully support that. Um, but she was on a few of uh, Daddy and Teresa's videos, and she's on ours. And so, yeah, that's I'm Lainey's mom. <laughs> so, um, that that's how that goes. Um, today, we're actually, normally on a Saturday, this is not how I would look. Not to say that it's great or anything, but normally it would be hair in a bun and cleaning house, hanging out, no makeup. Um, decided to get up, get dressed, clean house, um, made a, uh, excuse me, made a, a Rotel dip and a, and a chicken cheese ball and we're gonna pick up some pizzas and um, go down to Nanny and Pawpaw's. Daddy and Teresa are there visiting and um, I haven't been down except for a few minutes to uh, take a few things that they needed last week. So just go down and visit and hang out. Pawpaw said he was up to it and if, if he gets tired or anything, he'll, you know, he can go to bed and, and we'll all head out, but just to visit. Um, and um and and see how it's going there we try to do that from time to time um no i will not be filming any videos again you're probably stuck with just me or maybe me and laney um you're just going to be stuck with us sorry <laughs> for a few weeks that you'll get to see me and before long they will be back um if you have any questions for me or for laney or or nolan or or any for nanny and papa that you're interested in i am going to get with them on a phone call uh before long i won't be recording the phone call but um, just sit down with them on the phone, stick it on speakerphone, and um, get some of your questions answered, and I'll answer them, and then if there's any that they want to go into on a video and have stories, I'll mark them, and they'll do that, but a lot of you want, you know, when are you going to get answers to your questions, so I am going to do that, um, get a few answers for you. There are a lot, though, that I feel like they're just better answered by Nanny and Papa because they, they can really get into the story and tell you, but I'm going to get some answers. I appreciate y'all being so supportive. Um, I've gotten a lot of good feedback from my videos, and I do. I appreciate y'all um, being supportive. I promise Nanny and Papa are coming back. 
Um, we do love y'all, and um, I have a few questions for y'all. I'd like for you guys to, um, it's a request first. I'd like you guys to slam that like button. Make sure that you are hitting that subscribe button, sharing with your friends, share our channel, share our videos, get your friends, because we do want to grow our channel. We're very proud of the channel. The channel's two and a half years old. And um, we want to continue to grow the channel. If we can continue to grow the channel, then of course we're going to continue as long as Nanny and Papa want to 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 keep the channel up for you guys. Um, uh, questions that I have for you: If you've watched all of our channel, what has been your favorite video that we've done? Uh, what are more styles of videos that you would like to see us do? Do you like the questions and answers? Um, do you like just stories? Do you like when we go on site somewhere? Um, what, what do you like? One of my favorite videos that we've ever done, um, is, um, when Papa started out, Nanny said we had a special guest and it was Ann Helm and Papa was, um, dressed up, um, and told the story of when, um, he was actually a body double for Ann Helm on Follow That Dream. Um, that was just fun and yes. Um, we did take a, a bra and put on Papa and we stuffed it with um, a couple of grapefruits <laughs> and put a big sun hat on him, a button up shirt and everything. Um, so that was just my favorite. It was, it was fun. Um, but yeah, that was one I've also enjoyed when Papa talks about other family members, when he talks about his uncle Tracy, he talked about his brother Bobby. Um, I like all of that because while I'm filming, I'm getting stories about some of my family members that I did not get a chance to meet. I did not get a chance to meet Papa's daddy, my Paul Smith, Travis, who was the gate guard at Graceland. Um, I did know Mama Smith for a short time, and I wish I had gotten to know her a lot longer like I did Nanny's mama. I got to have Nanny's mama um, up until 2019, but, um, and, uh, back in the 80s, I lost, we lost Mamaw Smith, as you know. So, those are some of my favorites, but I'm interested in hearing what are some of your favorite videos that we've done. Um, so, let us know in the comments, uh, what kind of videos you enjoy, and which of our videos you've really, really enjoyed. Um, before long, I am going to have a giveaway for I'll do two uh, I'll do two free autograph photos. Um, we'll do a giveaway video. Um, I'll, I'll maybe have a contest or a drawing or something. I'll come up with a pretty fun way. But yeah, let us know in the comments which videos are your favorite. What would you like to see more of? And um, we'll have more information on anything coming up for Elvis week before long. And for now, I am going to go. The the winds picked up and kind of raining in on me, getting wet. But I'm going to go for now. And we love y'all. I will see you guys soon. And thank you all for the well wishes and prayers for Papa. We love you. And remember, Elvis fans matter. Hi, I'm Lenny, and we might have Luna with us if she wants to stay in the frame. Uh, thank everybody for my donations for V-Rays and Vertical Rays. Um, it's been going well. So, we have a... I have a few questions from Team Michael Madden uh, about band and my instrument, so we're going to answer these. Sorry about having my phone, just have to read them. We're just like that. And that's Luke. Tell us about your instrument and why you chose that particular instrument. So my instrument is a mellophone, it's like the starter for French horn, and um, I chose it because I just... I just chose it. I kind of just chose that of the instruments I could have had. I won a game percussion, but I got a zero. Still a little mad about that. And for uh, high brass, which is, it's actually medium brass, but it's considered high brass. Uh, I got like a three or four or something like that. So I just chose that one. It was like the second one I tested. And it was kind of easy. They told me I had good lips for brass, and I have no idea what that means still, but I guess that works. And, uh... We're kind of in the same room with trumpets, so we're just kind of like trumpets. Not really, though. How often do you practice, and do you play any other instruments? Um, I practice, like, every day, almost, like, every single day in a band. The only days I really don't do anything in band is if we have free days or something comes up, which is not that often. And, uh, I practice whenever we have our pass-off, which is, like, homework for band. Because then we have a test of it the other day, depending on where we sit in class and stuff. 
and um do I play any other instruments? Um, I don't exactly know how to play it, but I have, uh, I have two, but I think I just have one now, keyboard. Um, I basically just hit a piano. That's not playing a piano, though. And, uh, I knew a little bit of recorder, but now I don't, since I have no idea where that went. I had it in fifth grade, and, um, I used to not have play ukulele, like, second grade, but now I don't have a ukulele, so I can't play it. I have a guitar, but I can't play that either. Um, if you're gonna pick another instrument in the future, what would it be? Um, for band-wise, I want to do color guard, which is where you throw around like flags and rifles. I kind of want to do the flag. I don't know. I'm not Luna. <laughs> and I believe it's called baton, like the stick thing you throw around. I just want to do the flag since it seems easier. But for instrument, calm down, Luna. I kind of want to do like an ocarina, which is like, it's kind of like, it like has a bottom part and it has a top part and you kind of play it by covering the holes and you blow in it. Or uh, something like a keyboard or piano, or ukulele. And um, I might be able to play, but I don't have my instrument right now. So uh, those are the questions. Thank you for the donations again. I am grateful. And also, Luna. Luna seems very happy and not happy to be on recording. <laughs> and I lost it. We are playing this now. This, this is my beautiful French horn. Slash melophone. I call it a French horn. Um, before I do this, random painting I made. It's supposed to be in the background. Just to play them. I didn't have any brushes, so I just... Actually, I did have like one brush, it was a really big brush, so I just used all my paint. I probably had more paint, but I couldn't find it. And uh, we are playing Go For Excellence. Everything on here is called Go For Excellence, practically. So we're calling it When Love Is Kind. We are not doing the French horn version, I don't that one. French horn version, I don't see the point in it when we really just played the everything version. Anyways, I'm not really good whenever I'm in front of a camera, so it might not be the best, but it probably won't be the worst. Just loud warning, by the way. Rest in peace, headphone users. <laughs> Forgive me for that. that. That's a part of having an instrument spit out. <laughs> We are making progress for bands. It's wonderful. I don't know what I just said. That, that was horrible grammar in that sentence. Rewording that sentence, thank you. I and the band are grateful for the donations. We are improving the band with these donations. There's 10 days left for a donation fee. Honestly, I thought it was only like a day or so after the donation fee. But no, it's 21 days. Whenever I saw that, I was like, oh god. But yeah, this is the official goodbye of the video. Okay, goodbye, fam. I need to stop lying in between all of these clips. Um, we have Luna again. She doesn't know how to react to food. This is how I feed my dog. Treats. Oh, she doesn't want it. So... New idea, I don't know whenever it will start, but we might as well leave questions for it. Um, it'll probably be on videos or we could do community tab, but I don't know if we have community tab yet. But um There's gonna be a thing called Talk Fur or Thursday Talk. Not talk Thursday, Thursday Talk. It might change to Tuesday, but I'm hoping it's Thursday. Where uh you just leave questions and I'll answer and I'll also give like band updates. Most times Luna might appear in it, since I don't think my cat will allow me to hold her for that long without me dying on camera. I don't think that will be good for YouTube. I get demonetized because my cat 
She's not kind, okay? But yeah, that's that's the new idea. I don't know when it will start, but just leave questions if you have any for me uh, in the comments, and also give my band notes, like I said, and we'll have more Luna. All right. I'm not lying this time. This is not a lie. <laughs> Goodbye. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Thanks for watching.